Hi, I'm Matt, and I've got an apology to make. I need to put my hands up and say I made a mistake. There are two additional parts which you will need for your iNav install. Now, don't panic. They're not going to cost the ends of the earth, okay? And they are both practical points, and one of them is only applicable if you're going to be using the Omnibus F4 Pro board, uh, the V2 one, the one which has got the current sensor on. So what are those two parts? Now, the first one is kind of like ridiculously obvious, which is you need some way of mounting your board into your model. Okay, so it's just sticking a bit of Velcro on the bottom. It will work, and I'm not going to lie to you, I have done that before, okay? And if you're pressed for time, then a bit of sticky back Velcro on the bottom to hold the flight controller board into the model is probably going to work okay. But the thing to remember is that on the bottom of these boards is that we do have some very sensitive little components. And if we're using Velcro, it's got glue on there. And if you've repeatedly taken it in and out, you may damage your board and that's not ideal. So instead, uh, I'll put a couple of links to a couple of suggested little um, mounting plates, which uh, there's one there, which I've got here, uh, which is a little 3D printed mounting plate. Uh, literally, Thingiverse is littered with uh, flight, control, flight controller mounts, okay? I'll, I'll put a link to this one specifically uh, in the video description for you if you have got a 3D printer. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can get these things printed out and sent to you for like silly money, okay? So you'll need some way of mounting it into the actual model itself. So I'm going with the 3D printed route, but that said, you will still need, and I can't find my little box of screws, but what I do have up on the screen right now are some of these uh, parts up on the screen. Now, these are little M3 little pushing things. Now, here's another little board which I've made out of just a little bit of balsa wood. Now, I'll put it up on there so you can see, but what I'll do is that I'll also put a photo up on your screen so you can see it and I'll also attach the flight control board so that you've got some way of mounting the actual board into the model itself so it can be high tech or it can be low tech and in both these instances m3 little nylon screws work exceptionally well now i'll put a link to the ones which i've got on my screen in the video description for you but also do keep in the back of your mind you can pick up a set like this uh, maybe in a little electronic store maybe like maplins for example as well so that's part one um, of this episode is that I made a whoopsie. We need some way and you need some way of mounting your boards into your model. Okay. And the easiest way of doing that for me is 3D printing the model. And I will be using some of the M3 screws to hold the board down securely. Or a cheaper option is that you can just use a piece of balsa wood and then either glue or maybe use some Velcro to hold then hold the balsa wood into the model itself. So that's the mounting option. Now the second one is only applicable if you are gonna be using the Omnibus F4 Pro board. Now, the reason for this is very simple. Unlike on the V1 board, and let me just make a point of this, I'll pop, put this up on your screen. So you can see on the V1 board, I've got all the pin headers there, and that's really easy for you to push the pins in, okay? That's why I like the V1 board. That's why I recommend that board to you because it is the simplest one to wire up. But I know from the Facebook group, many of you have got, and also myself included, kind of like the V2 board. So with that in mind, to be able to connect your GPS unit to your flight controller board, only for the V2 board, the board which has got the current sensor on it, is that you're gonna need one of these connectors. And the reason why you need one of these connectors is because TX and RX, the two wires which communicate the GPS positions from your GPS unit, need to be on two of these wires. And also you've got SDA and SCL, which mean nothing to you, but the short version is, is that those are the two wires which you can then hook up your magnometer to it. Uh, and now, the only place where I've been able to find them is on eBay. Now, this is a link to an eBay UK listing. Now, obviously, if you're in Germany or Australia or the United States, I'll point out the exact details you're, which you're after. And again, I'll put a link to this listing in the video description for you, of course, as well. Now, 
Special plug on the end. It is a JST SH one millimeter. So it means it's got a one millimeter gap between the pins and it's a six pin connector, okay? And you also need that if you're only, if you are using the V2 board, the board which has the um, current sensor built in, okay? And that, and you need this to be able to connect up your GPS unit to your flight controller. So obviously, apologies from myself, Matt. Um, I just genuinely overlooked that connector, okay? But look, you can buy five of them for three pounds 65, which is like five bucks, They're like a dollar each, you know? Um, they're not gonna break the bank. And I did also overlook the actual mounting of the board as well. Those little M3 little connectors, I'll pop those back up on the screen as well. Uh, if you don't want to buy them from Banggood, you can get them from local electronic stores as well. Maplins is a suggestion there as well. Uh, and they allow you to mount the board up off the, uh, the, off the floor of the actual model itself because underneath all of these boards, there's always components underneath and you won't be able to sensibly get a level board placement in your model, okay? So with that said, um, for a couple of dollars more, okay, we're pushing the boat out here a bit, so six dollars uh, for a million of them, um, or 300 of them, sorry, to be correct, uh, a lifetime supply of little M3 little connectors uh, to be able to mount your board correctly. And again, I'm, I'm showing the balsa wood one to you on purpose because you may not have a 3D printer available to you. And again, I'll put links to the 3D printed version uh, in the video description for you. And again, just to recap, if, you're, if, you're, if you've been and bought the V2 board, the one with the current sensor on, is that you're gonna need one of these connectors and they are JSTSH one mil six pin connector, okay? Also, to let you know, because of the popularity of this series and the, the amount of questions and your comments, which I've seen already in the Facebook group and also here on YouTube, uh, is that what I'm gonna do for this series, I'm actually gonna break it. You, you're gonna have like two setups running up at the same time for the actual flight control board. So my plan was to put like an amendment in or an appendix in at the end, as far as the V2 board setup goes. So that's not the route which I'm gonna take. What I am gonna do, I'm gonna do both setups uh, during the whole series itself. So if you've only got the V1 board, just skip over the V2 um, episodes if you're not interested in those. Uh, but if you are interested in V2, and maybe you own a V2 and have gone that route instead, then take note of the V2 episodes. So anyway, from myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this episode, and let the iNav series continue. From myself, Matt, cheerios!